Hello and welcome to Algebra 2 Lesson 5. In this video, we're going to learn about converting a repeating decimal into a fraction. So back in pre-algebra, we learned how to convert back and forth between decimals and fractions. But for most of you, you are probably never shown how to convert a repeating decimal into a fraction. So we'd start out with just asking, what is a repeating decimal? Just in case you don't know. So a repeating decimal is one that repeats the same digit, okay, it repeats the same digit or pattern of digits forever. So as an example, let's say you had something like 0 0.267777, where the seven is going to repeat forever. So we can put the three dots after this seven here to indicate that the seven will continue on and on and on. Another way you can notate this, you could write this as 0 0.267 with a bar over the 7. You put a bar over the digit or series of digits that's going to repeat forever. Now, as another example of one of these, let's just look at two more. Let's say I saw something like 0 0.43, where 4 and 3 repeated forever. So then 4, 3, 4, 3. 4, 3, 4, 3, you know, so on and so forth. So again, I can use the three dots, or I can put 0 0.43 with a bar on top of the 4 and the 3, because that pattern of digits is going to repeat forever. A 4 and then a 3, a 4 and then a 3, so on and so forth. Or as another example, let's say I saw something that was kind of longer, Let's say I saw 0 0.39176, and let's say the 176 repeats forever. So then 176, 176, 176, you know, so on and so forth. So I can put the three dots here. Or again, I can write this as 0 0.39176, and again, I can put a bar on top of the 1, the 7, and the 6, the three digits that are going to repeat forever. Okay, so let's jump into an example now. And for a lot of you, this is not going to be very difficult. I can tell you that you just write down the steps as we're working through these problems. And once you do your own practice problems, after five or 10 of these, you're going to have this down pack. It's going to be no issue for you in the future. Again, this is very, very simple. So let's try to convert 0.97 where the seven repeats forever. Again, notice the bar on top of the seven there. So the very first thing that you wanna do is set a variable like X or Y or Z or whatever you wanna use equal to the value, right? The repeating decimal. So let's just go ahead and use X and say X is equal to 0 0.97 where the seven repeats forever. And for the sake of this example, I'm not gonna write it like this. I'm gonna write it like this. And it's just going to make it easier to see what's going on. Then the next thing I want to do, I want to multiply. I want to multiply both sides by 10 to the power of n. And n is just going to be the number of digits in the repeating string. Now, in this particular case, I have one digit that's going to repeat forever. So 10 to the power of, in this case, it will be 1, right? 10 to the power of 1 is 10, right? We all know that. So if I multiply both sides of the equation by 10, what am I going to get? On this side, I'm going to get 10x. On this side, I would move my decimal point one place to the right, and I would have 9.7, 7, 7. 7. 7. You can write as many 7s as you want, just making it clear that the 7 repeats forever. And go ahead and put your three dots at the end. Now, at this point, I have not gotten rid of the repeating decimal. It's still right here, right? That 7 still repeating forever and ever and ever. But the step we're going to do now is going to get rid of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to subtract the original equation from this new equation I just got by multiplying both sides by 10. So you might say, how is that legal? Remember, these two sides are equal to each other. 
On this side, I'm going to subtract away 0 0.9777 with the three dots there. And what's going to happen is this part right here is going to go away. It's just going to cancel. 7 minus 7 is 0. So all this is gone. And I'm left with 7 minus 9. I'd have to borrow to do that. So I'd borrow from this. This would become 8. This would become 17. 17 minus 9 is 8. Put my decimal point. 8 minus 0 is 8. So this side is now 8.8. .8. .8. So let's put this equals. Over here, I'm going to subtract away x. And remember, this is legal because x is equal to this value. And I'm basically subtracting away the same thing from each side of the equation. So 10x minus x is going to give me 9x. Now, let me do one more thing here. Let me scroll down and get a little room going. I'm just going to multiply each side of the equation by 10 again to clear this decimal point. I'm going to multiply this side by 10 and this side by 10, and I'm going to get that 90x is equal to 88. Right? This goes one place to the right. So now we have something very easy to solve. We divide both sides of the equation by 90, the coefficient of x. And this is going to cancel with this. And I'm going to be left with x is equal to 88 over 90, which can be reduced. Each is divisible by 2. 88 divided by 2 is 44. And 90 divided by 2 is 45. So there is your solution. x is equal to 44 over 45. And remember, if we scroll back up here, in the beginning we said x was equal to this. So if I replace x with this value of 44 over 45, these two have to be equal. So that's your value. 44 over 45 is equal to 0 0.97777, where the 7 repeats forever and ever and ever. And if you don't believe me, punch it up on a calculator. If you punch up 44 divided by 45, you will get 0.97, where the 7 repeats forever. Now, your calculator will do one of two things. It may truncate, so it may stop displaying sevens. It's just not displaying anymore because it just can't. Or it may round at the end, so you might see the final digit as an eight. Okay, But that's not the actual value. That seven is going to repeat forever and ever and ever. Okay, so your brain might be a little fuzzy from the first one. But hopefully on the second one here, you're going to catch up and kind of get in the flow of things. So we have 3.895, where the nine and the five. That series of digits there is going to repeat forever. So we would see something like 3.895595, right? So on and so forth. And again, I want to set this value equal to a variable like x or y or z. Let's go ahead and just use z, kind of spice things up. I know we always like to use x. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to multiply both sides of the equation by 10 to the nth power, where n, again, is the number of digits in the repeating string. So in this case, I have one, two digits there. So n is going to be a 2. So 10 to the second power is 100. So 1 followed by two zeros. So this over here, if I multiply both sides by 100, this would be 100z, and this would be 389 point, right? Because this is going to move two places to the right. So you'd have 389 point, and now I'd have a 5, and then I'd have my repeating digits. So I would have 95, 95, and I could do another one, 95, and then the three dots. Okay, so now we know that we want to subtract this value from both sides of the equation. So I'm going to subtract away 3.895595, where the 95 repeats forever. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. But remember, on this side, I want to subtract away z. And again, that's legal because this is equal to this. So I'm subtracting away the same thing from both sides of the equation. So over here, I'm going to have 99z. And over here, if I do my subtraction, I know from this point on, it's going to cancel. Right? This is going to cancel itself out. Then over here, I'm going to borrow. This will become 8. 15 minus 8 is 7. Put my decimal point. 8 minus 3 is 5. Then I have my 8 and I have my 3. 
All right, let's scroll down, get a little room. And now let me just clear this decimal from the equation. We multiply both sides of the equation by 10. And I'm going to get 990z is equal to 3,857. Now I want to just divide both sides of the equation by 990. So z is by itself. Divide this by 990. All right, so let's write this as z is equal to, I can factor 3,857 into 7 times 19 times 29. And then I could factor 990 as 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 11. So between the numerator and the denominator, I don't have any common factors other than 1. So there's nothing I can really do. My answer is going to be that z is equal to 3,857 over 990. And again, if we go back up, we see that z was equal to this. So I can replace this side right here with this. I can say that 3,857 over 990 is equal to 3.895. And in more convenient form, I can put the bar over the 9 and the 5 to show that 9, 5, that series of digits is going to repeat forever. So again, punch this up on a calculator. 3,857 divided by 990, and you will see this. But again, your calculator will either truncate and stop at some point with a 5, or it will round up and you'll see a 6 as the very final digit. All right, let's take a look at another one. So we have 0 0.104357, where the 4357 repeat forever and ever and ever. So again, let's assign this to a variable. Let's use y this time. So let's say y is equal to, again, 0 0.10. I'm going to write it more compact form now that we understand what's going on. So 4, 3, 5, 7 with the bar over the 4, the 3, the 5, and the 7. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 10 raised to the power of n Again, where n is the number of digits and the repeating string. So in this particular case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. So I'd multiply by 10 to the power of 4. So 10 to the power of 4, which is a 1 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So I'd have 10,000 Y is equal to, this would move one, two, three, four places to the right. So I would have 1,043 point, I'd have five, seven, and then what I'd have is the repeating pattern starting. So I would have four, three, five, seven, and I'll put a bar over the four, the three, the five, and the seven, and again, now I want to subtract this value away from each side of the equation. So if I subtract that away over here, I'd have 0 0.104357 with a bar over the 4, the 3, the 5, and the 7. And we know that this part would cancel, right? That's gone. Let me scroll down a little bit. And over here, 7 minus 0 is 7. 5 minus 1 is 4. Put my decimal point there. Bring everything else down, 3, 4, 0, 1. And this would be equal to, over here, I'm going to subtract away y. Remember, y equals this, so I'm subtracting away the same thing from each side of the equation. So that's going to give me 9,999y. Let me put minus y here. Now, the next thing is I want to just clear this decimal point. So let me multiply by 100 so I can move this two places to the right. So that would give me 104,000. 347. Then on this side, I'm multiplying by 100 as well. So that would give me 999,900y. And then for my final step here, I'm simply going to divide both sides of the equation by 999,900. And I'll get my final answer here, which is that y is equal to 104,347 over 999,900. Now, 104,347 is a prime number. So we're not going to be able to do anything to reduce this fraction. So let me just erase some stuff here. So we come back up to the top. 
And since y is equal to this, I can replace y with this and put 104,347 over 999,900. And again, this is equal to what we originally started with. We have 0 0.10 with the 4357 repeating forever. All right, let's take a look at one final problem here. So we have 0 0.8725 or 8725, those three digits repeat forever. So again, I wanna set this equal to a variable. So let's pick X again. So X equals 0 0.8725. Again, where there's a bar over the seven, the two and the five. Then let's multiply both sides of the equation by 10 raised to the power of N where again, n is the number of digits in the repeating string. So in this case, that's three. I have one, two, three digits. So I'd multiply by 10 to the third power or 1,000. So I'd have 1,000x is equal to, this would move one, two, three places to the right. So I would end up with 872.5 and then I would start my 725 repeating forever. So let me put the bar over this. Now, what I wanna do from here, I wanna subtract this value from each side of the equation. So over here, I'm gonna subtract away 0.8725, where again, there's a bar over the seven, the two, and the five. And then over here, because X is equal to this, I'm gonna subtract away X. Right? I'm subtracting away the same thing from each side of the equation. So on the left, I get 999x. On the right, this is gonna cancel, and I'll borrow here, 15 minus eight is seven, and I'll bring down my decimal point, and then I'll bring down a one, a seven, and an eight. So let's scroll down and get a little room going. And I'm gonna move this to the right one, which means I'm gonna move this to the right one, just multiplying both sides by 10. So I'm gonna have 9,990x is equal to 8,717. Now, as a final step, I'm just gonna divide both sides of the equation by 9,990. And I'll get that x is equal to 8,717 over 9,990. Now, if I factor this number right here, I would get 23 times 379. And if I factored 9,990, I would get two times, three times three times three, times five times 37. So they don't share any common factors other than one. So this would be as simple as we can make it. We have 8,717 over 9,990. And let me just copy this real quick. And again, because X is equal to this, we can say that this value here, 8,717 over 9,990 is equal to 0 0.8725, where the seven, two, and five repeat forever and ever and ever.